let me move on to the first data interpretation question that is mainly concentrated for upcoming SBI PO 2016 and see friends here is the chart right so and uh, a field A B C D E so there are given a uh, five fields and the shape of the field is also given uh, which is in the form of triangle and uh, rectangle square parallelogram and circle so if the fields are in this shape we can know definitely the values are also given if it is a field e in a form of a circle so we can clearly say that only radius will be given so where e is a circle and uh, c is square then parallelogram then t is triangle and b is rectangle right and the values are given that is side base height and circle for the respective values have been given right so and the two important data have been given one is cost of flooring then second is cost of fencing these two plays a major role on solving this measurement topic right so whatever be the sum but cost of flooring and cost of fencing is most important right where the people will make a mistake okay friends before going into uh, these sums we should be strong on all the two dimensional images that is mainly the formula for area and formula for perimeter you should know the both the formulas which is most important for all the two dimensional images right so if it is a circle we know that 2 pi r pi r square but only one thing where the students make a mistake is that see the field number a if the field number a is in the form of a triangle so we know that the shape is in the form of triangle but the values are given base is 16 and height is 12 where if we take a triangle there are more types of triangle different types of triangle one is isosceles triangle equilateral triangle scale and triangle so we need to properly identify what triangle they have given friends remember that if only base and height is given then it is called as a right angle triangle friends got the idea see here where base and height is only given this is called as a base of a triangle and this is called as an height of a triangle so if base and height is given then definitely this triangle will be in the form of right angle triangle don't think that this is height this is called as an hypotenuse right which we used to say so remember that only base and height is given then the triangle is in the form of an right angle triangle why because each triangle has a different area and different formula so don't make a mistake though you prepare for SSE exams or some other competitive exams remember that base and height is only given then it is called as a right angle triangle so if it is a right angle triangle we need to know these two formulas one is area and another is perimeter friends another thing where students will make a mistake is that the parallelogram see the field number D it is in the form of parallelogram right the only difference between for a parallelogram and rectangle is most important if it is a rectangle there will be length and breadth if it is a parallelogram they will be base and height so don't forget friends there is a only change in a rectangle and parallelogram rectangle see the rectangle value sides are 10 into 20 we can clearly say that length and breadth are given but see the parallelogram the field number d where the base is 20 height is 12 if in the form of base is 20 and height is 12 this is called as a base and parallelogram this is called as an height so don't make a mistake friends if base and height is given so it is in the form of a parallelogram friends see the last two columns one is cost of flooring and second one is cost of fencing where these two plays a major role in this uh, tabular column right so friends remember that cost of flooring what is meaning of cost of flooring in a two dimensional images only one thing just note down that cost of flooring is equal to area of that image right so cost of flooring is equals to area of those respective image if they ask you what is the cost of flooring for this square right so we can clearly say that the area of square is equals to cost of flooring so the area is equals to cost of flooring right so second thing is fencing where fencing is called as a border right which which we used to call as a border is called as a fencing so remember that the wherever the word fencing comes it is called as a perimeter right so don't forget friends perimeter that is length and breadth if we take a, a rectangle we can surely say that this length and breadth is called as a fencing so similarly square the side is called as a fencing where length breadth and side is called as a perimeter and another important thing if it is a circle if they ask you to find a fencing then it is called as a circumference where this is not called as a perimeter right so if it is if it has a length breadth and then it will be called as a perimeters if it is a circle we used to call it as a circumference so the fencing will equals to perimeter or a circumference so friends this is the basic 
for this tabular column so let me move on to the question so before moving on to this question you should know these kinds of formulas these five two-dimensional images formula thoroughly then uh, and another thing is that if it is a perimeter remember that it is called as a fencing if we need to area which is equals to flooring right so these two things are most important so let me move on to the question now so let me move on to the first question of this table chart right see here the first question is what is the cost of flooring for a they are just asking what is the cost of flooring for that field number a friends see here we know that the field is in the form of a triangle right so if it is a triangle the two values are given one is bait base and another is height so we can say that the base will be 16 and the height will be 12 right so we need to calculate the value of flooring right cost of flooring we already know that flooring is equals to area don't forget this friends which is most important flooring that is equals to area in order to find the area of this triangle we know that half bh right half bh determines the area of this triangle so half b into h where b is base and h is height so half into where base base is given as 16 and height is given as 12 so if i cancel one and if i cancel this by 8 so 8 into 12 which is 96 square meter right friends remember that where it is 96 square meter but see the friends what is the cost of flooring is 50 but is it for meter right for 1 meter the cost of flooring is 50 but we need to calculate for 96 square meter so where 96 into the given value which is 50 right so we can clearly say that 4800 rupees will be cost for this the floor number a which is in the form of a triangle so remember friends where 96 square meter determines that this area of the triangle right and for 1 meter the cost is 50 in order to multiply with this 96 so 96 into 50 that gives you 4800 rupees so this is the cost of flooring a let me move on to the second question see here what is the difference between cost of fencing of c that of b right they are just asking a difference between a two field one is c and that of b we know that c is in the field is in the form of square so i have drawn a square here and uh, c where uh, b b is in the form of a rectangle so i have drawn a rectangle here and both the values are given where because of square they have given a side is 15 and because of a rectangle they have given a length and breadth where length is 10 and breadth is 20 friends remember that we need to calculate what is the cost for fencing fencing is called as a border so if it is a border we can clearly say that fencing is equals to perimeter right so we need to find the difference between the cost for these two images right so friends because of a square we know that the perimeter is 4 a right why because the side is 15 so if one side is 15 we can clearly say that all this four sides will be 15 why because it is a square so in order to find the cost that is for only for the fencing we know that 15 so 15 into 4 right so 15 into 4 will be resultant will be 60 where 60 shows that the area that requires for this fencing but we know that it will be 60 for area but for 1 meter friends it is 60 square meters but for 1 meter it is rupees 18 so we need to multiply 60 into 18 where 60 into 18 1080 this is the cost that required for this fencing of the square now let me move on to the rectangle right so because of rectangle length and breadth have been given and we know that the perimeter will be 2 into l plus b so substitute the formula where 2 into length length is 10 and breadth is 20 so 2 into 30 the resultant will be 60 where 60 shows you that so most important friends where 60 is called as an the area that is for an fencing right but if we take a rectangle where the fencing cost for 1 meter is 15 so 60 into 15 the resultant will be 900 so here the rupees will be 900 900 rupees required for fencing this rectangle and here 1080 rupees is required for fencing this square they are asking what is the difference between both so if we need to find the difference between both so 180 rupees will be difference between both the cost
let we move on to the third question see the question what is the ratio of cost of flooring to that of cost of fencing of the field d friends they are asking that what is the ratio between uh, field d is in the form of a parallelogram right where 20 is the base given and 12 is the height given so because of flooring we need to find an area where area of this parallelogram will be base into height similarly because of fencing we need to find the perimeter of this parallelogram which is 2 into l plus b now we need to substitute all the values in the formulas and we need to find a ratio friends remember that in most of the videos in my channel i have explained you one thing that if it is a ratio based problem don't waste by uh, multiplying a values and then calculating a ratio right see here friends where base into i we know that base is 20 and height is 12 so 20 into 12 will be 240 friends see here 20 into 12 is 240 for only this means that 240 square meter right in order to find a flooring where the parallelogram flooring will be 60 for 1 meter 60 rupees but we need to calculate for 240 so into 60 the important thing we should not multiply this and waste your time why because don't multiply this and waste your time in your exams why i am saying repeatedly saying is people will make a lot of time here they just used to multiply it after multiplying they will go for these values and again they will multiply and finally cancellation part is most important so friends better multiplying keep the values as it is right so perimeter which is 2 into length plus a uh, length plus uh, breadth so 20 plus 12 that will be 32 32 into 2 is 64 square but 64 square meter is the perimeter right but we know that the parallelogram fencing will be 25 rupees for 1 meter so 64 into 25 now keep both the values as it is now cancel by three table or five table that you have wish right so friends let me move on to the five table if i cancel with the five table five five are 25 if i cancel this in five table one five are five so remainder will be 110 that is 12 into 5 is 60. so now try to cancel this on five table or two table again right if i cancel this on two table 32 if i cancel this on two table 120 again cancel this on two table if i cancel this this on two table then will be 16 to 32 cancel again on two table which is 60 so let me again cancel this 5 and 60 so 1 5 are 5 12 5 are 60 now i think we can cancel okay let me cancel two table that is 8 to 16 here it is 6 to 12 right so 4 to 8 here it is 6 to 12 2 to 4 and 3 to 6 1 to 2 3 3 are 9 so finally here the entire part becomes 1 and here 3 into 3 it is 9 so finally we got the ratio 9 is to 1 right so friends this was the important thing in the data interpretation you should uh, be faster friends cancellation part is so easy in order to understand you clearly i will make this much of time to cancel but in your exams while practicing this comes speed but only one thing don't make a mistake by multiplying this and waste your times in your exams let me move on to the fourth question right see here the cost of fencing of field E is approximately what percentage of cost of flooring of the field C? They are just asking what percentage. We know that if it is a what percentage, there is a formula called X by Y into 100. Right? Okay. Cost of fencing for field e, field E is in the form of circle. But here we need to find a fencing. Because of circle, we can call this uh, circle as a circumference. We need to find the circumference of the circle. Then only we can find the fencing for the cost of the field e so circumference of the circle will be 2 pi r where 2 into 22 by 7 into the radius of the field circle will be given which is 10 so 10 so remember that 22 into 4 is 44 into 10 divided by 7 so it gives you 440 divided by 7 where 440 divided by 7 is only which we have calculated the perimeter that is called as a circumference of a circle but we need to find the cost right see here friends where the cost for fencing will be 22 rupees so we know that 440 by 7 is the area so into the cost that is 22 this gives you the total cost for the fencing of this field number e so our target is to multiply 440 into 22 divided by 7 right so where the people will feel so uh, difficult to solve these areas friends remember that 440 into 22 how to multiply it 440 into 22 in so many videos i have explained you the easiest way of multiplying that is 440 into 20 plus 2 right this 22 as 20 plus 2 now 440 plus 20 that is 4 2 is 8 
4800 got the idea friends 440 into 20 which is 8800 now 440 into 2 that when we add 0 8 16 1 9 6 8 0 friends got the idea better multiplying 440 into 22 by 3 cross 3 or 2 cross 2 multiplication better go for this more word, which is split and merge right so 20 22 can be written as 20 plus 2 by multiplying 440 into 20 then 440 into 2 by adding 9 6 8 0 so finally we got 9 6 8 0 by multiplying both the value 6 8 0 divided by 7 which we got now right 9 6 8 0 divide by 7 now let me divide this 1 7 is 7 reminder is 2 which is 26 right so 7 3 is 21 7 3 is 21 reminder will be 5 that is 58 so 7 8 is 56 right 7 8 are will be 56 reminder is 2 that is 20 so 7 2 is 14 so reminder is 6 friends it is an approximation so better we can stop here that is 1 3 8 2 let me stop the value as it is right so finally we got 1 3 8 2 now this is the cost that is required for the field number e that is in a circle for this uh, fencing and second thing we need to find the cost of flooring for field c uh, where the field c is in the form of square right so see here friends the field c is in the form of square we know that 15 is the site but we need to find the cost of flooring where flooring is determines the area right so area of the square is a square which we know that a is 15 so a square is 225 and for the square the cost of flooring will be 40 rupees so 225 into 40 this determines 9000 right so finally we got 9000 we need to find what percentage that means we need to divide x divide by y into 100 where x determines 1382 that is x divide by y where y is 9000 in order to convert into percentage into 100 now cancel it friends 0 0 0 0 gets cancelled so finally we got 1382 divide by 90 so friends this 1382 can be written as 900 plus 482 friends listen carefully right got the idea why because 1382 can be split as 900 and plus 482 why i will write this is see listen carefully 90 will be cancelled 10 times so 90 into 10 is 900 next 90 so 90 will be approximately 5 times friends got the idea why because let's take 9 9 here it is 48 so 9 into 5 is 45 but here it is 482 so approximately it will be a range of 45 and 48 will be 5 times so i can say it is 5 times so finally we got 15 percentage approximately so here the option number c which is only 15 percentage all other options are 10 19 18 16 so i can clearly say that option number c 15 percentage will be your answer